Hi guys, this is Sandra for Sandra's Homespun Life. Today I went to Sam's Club and had to pick up just a few things, but while I was there I picked up one of these Ninja Foodie Grill. And it advertises it that it has cooking power of an outdoor grill. And it says that it's virtually smoke free. But you're supposed to be able to air fry, grill, and several different things. So I thought I'd just bring you along when I unbox this and we'll see what all's in the box and find out a little bit more about it. And this is a little registration paper that you can register your product probably for warranty and stuff. And it comes with a little recipe book. Let's flip through it real quick. Um, now there's a little dehydrating chart right there. Air crisp chart, grill chart. So that come in handy. And it looks like we have several little recipes. Oh, this sounds good. French fries with Parmesan and garlicky mayo. I bet that would be good. That might be one I try out sometime. And there's several little recipes in there. That chicken looks really good. And if you hear toenails clicking on my floor, that's my dog, Shade. She's checking out. She thinks when I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking something. So she's looking around for little tidbits that might have got dropped in the floor. And this is the owner's guide, it says, for the ninja. Okay, I'm assuming this is the main, the main uh, grill pan. It's really heavy. It's like a cast iron is what it feels like, but about like a small cast iron skillet, probably about the same weight as that. Um, here's some skewers. Now, them's nice looking little skewers. They're all tangled up together right now. Get one apart here. Get you in shot here. It's just got a little round end. So those are probably about six inches, give or take. And the good thing about them is you can wash them, reuse them. And then here's the little cleaning brush that was supplied with it. A fairly stiff bristles, so I'm sure that'll clean that grill pan real well. I tell you, I'm a sucker for any kind of kitchen appliance, kitchen gadget. All you got to do is wave one under my nose, you got my full attention. <laughs> but I spend most of my time in the kitchen anyway, so I guess that makes sense. Get the plastic off of there, and I'll save this packing material and uh, put it back in my box and stuff in case I have any trouble out of the Ninja, which I hope I don't, but, you know, things happen. It's, I like to have all my little packing papers and stuff and if I have to return it and try to return it back in the shape that I got it. Okay, I'm going to have to set this in the floor to be able to lift this up. So I'll bring you right back here in a minute. Okay, I'm back y'all. Now this little sucker here is heavy. I bet it weighs a good 20 pounds. So if anybody has any trouble lifting or anything, that might be a problem you run into. Now on the front here, we have a little sticker that's got some grill tips and then it's got air crisp tips. And then on the front, it's got some packing tape there. It looks like a nice digital control on the front. We'll look at that a little closer here in a minute. But I'm gonna get this packing tape off. And that did come off nice and clean and didn't leave behind no residue. That's a pet peeve of mine. Some of these tapes and stuff they put on these products and stickers, it'll leave behind a residue and you have to fight and work just to clean it off. But now I'm just going to open the lid on it. And remove some of the inside material. Okay, here's some kind of little tray. It's lightweight. Feels like a non-stick 
surface. Now this right here looks like the air crisping pan. And you know, that's fairly good size. I think this is supposed to be a four quart. And I was afraid it would be a little bit on the small side. But it's in a rectangle-like shape, sort of. Not exactly a square. And that's got a lot of heat and surface. And looks like it's got more than my air fryer even so that's nice and it's got the nice smooth finish that's non-stick no this is nice see I didn't know that it would have a pot in it I thought maybe it would just have a little burner in there and then circulate the heat up through the cracks or something but now this has actually got a, a roasting pot I guess you'd call it and it's got the nice non-stick surface and that is really nice. It's, I guess it's a little bit larger than the air fryer basket. Just a little bit bigger, but it is a little bit bigger. So that'd be great for when you want to cook things and you don't want a slotted bottom in it. Something that maybe has sauces and stuff that you want to cook in the sauces. And here's another piece of cardboard. And of course, we got a sticker in here, and I always leave them on there. And it's just warnings and tells you how to handle the product safely and, you know, different hazards to be careful for. Now, I'll bring my camera around to give you a different view now. In the top of the air fryer or grill lid, the Ninja Foodie, we have a little silver screen. I'm assuming that's like a splatter filter and that releases that splatter screen and then as you can see up in the top we have our burner and so this little splatter screen works as a way to protect your burner from getting stains and grease and food splatters on and it looks like you have a notch right down here in the lid here that matches with this splatter screen so it looks like we just stick it back in there and then pop the splatter screen right back in place. So that was pretty simple. I'm going to plug it up and we'll take a look at the digital display on this and the controls. Okay, I've got it plugged up. And on the front here, I have a power button. So it's got a very nice, easy to see LCD panel. It has a grill option and what that does is it allows you to select the temperature you want to grill on and we have low, medium, high and then maximum. So by pressing that button it will let you adjust the grill temperature you want that at. Okay. We also have a temperature rocker here and you can click up to raise the temperature. Oh, it goes over 500 goes to 510 well that's impressive I thought it just said it went to 500 and then the lowest temperature let's see what it goes to on the grill function the lowest it goes is 400 then we have the timer rocker button which adjusts your time it starts out in 10 and then goes on up in single second increments and of course to go down in time you just press the bottom arrow now here's some additional settings to the right. We have an air crisp, a dehydrate, a bake, and a roast. So pretty nice. And then of course here's your start and stop button for after you get all your settings set and ready to start cooking. And then of course you just press the power button again to turn it off. So that's super, super nice. Now it has another thing pictured here, and it's, uh, it's the griddle, the flat griddle, but it says in parentheses that it's not included with all models. But that's okay, I got enough to get me started anyway. Now the back is very basic. Here's your vents where all your heat and steam will come out of. 
it's got a little warning to watch your hands and stuff when you're using it because I'm sure if you get your hands too close to that when it's in operation it burn you real quick and then it has your UL listed information some additional warnings and then down below you have a sticker on the bottom that gives you your serial number I guess or model number and that's basically all there is to but it. You know it's been so hot out here lately it's been too hot to cook and I've been wanting to cook on my griddle but it's, it's been up in the 90s with high humidity and it's just it's too hot to get out there and then uh, I thought this would be great to cook in to uh, keep from heating up the kitchen so bad as well with the oven and stuff. So there you have it folks the Ninja Foodie I thank you all for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing. And hopefully I'll get to cranking out some videos soon and put this thing to use and see what we can fix in it. So thanks for joining me, y'all. Bye.